I am uh, going to be replacing this uh, rear brake disc uh, with a new one uh, because this one is just worn out. A huge groove has been worn into the side of this um, just from over the years of using it. And uh, step number one, uh, I need to get this wheel off, um, which means I have to remove this nut for the axle, which is 27 millimeters. And on the other side of the axle, you need a 19 millimeters uh, wrench to hold it still. And hopefully, I can get this off without this cotter pin without breaking it. And um, before I, I take this off, there's one big problem with this, this job here is um, because the groove is worn so deep in this, in this brake disc, I'm not going to be able to pull this out of the brake caliper. I've got to press the pistons in on the brake caliper to make room to pull this out. So I'm going to do that now before I pull the axle out. I'm just going to take a clean pry bar and... Uh, you can see there's a metal part of the brake pad here um, and there's about this much room before uh, it's of the metal part of the backing part of the brake pad that's sticking out and I'm going to try and grab that lip and just force that brake pad that way and I'm going to do the same, same thing to the other side if I can um, find room to do it. I can't find room on the other side, so I'm just going to pry this again. And uh, I've loosened it up, so maybe that's enough, and then we'll go from there. And uh, pull this axle out. Take the chain off and here's the wheel. So here is the wheel off the bike. Um, you want to remove, or we want to remove these, uh, what, five um, Allen bolts. And what, I call them Allen because you need an Allen wrench to take them off. You want to make sure that the inside of the bolt is clean because you want to be able to insert this Allen wrench or socket all the way in and get as much grip on the bolt as you can. Just use a screwdriver. Just clean out the inside of the bolt, blow it off. Um, minimum thickness on this uh, this brake disc should be 180 thousandths. Uh, this is obviously way out of spec so I'm not even going to bother measuring it but um, this new replacement disc the thickness is 210 thousandths, so there's plenty of room um, for wear on the new one. Uh, when you install it, you want the, according to the manual, you want the uh, these um, these specs on the disc to be facing out. So I'm going to do that, which you can see on the new disc they're facing out. Uh, replacement disc from Kawasaki dealership. Uh, is $289. Uh, you can get a rear disc and a front disc for $81 on eBay. So keep that in mind. Let me grab a socket or a ratchet and we'll take these off.
I bought a uh, New Harbor Freight car jack, their popular um, top of the line one that they got sued for by Snap-on because Snap-on said they copied their design. I can't remember the name. I keep wanting to call it Dynasty, but it's not Dynasty. It's something else. But um, Oh, Daytona. Anyway, they gave me this free impact wrench with a purchase, so I'm using it. I'm going to take this off. Let me grab a mallet. And uh, just to show you, um, you can see the thickness of the new disc is um, it's around 210,000s. 210, uh, minimum should be 180,000, so it's got plenty of time, plenty of room for wear. Um, you want to make sure that you're, where you're mounting the disc is clean. Um, make sure that the uh, the, uh, the the where that shows the thickness of the disc or any type of thickness information. I think it's a minimum thickness um, is at the top. And then we're going to need um, blue Loctite, which I need to get. Be right back. And then I I put blue Loctite on each of these. I broke my blue Loctite uh, thing. Kind of panicked. Thought it was going to run out or didn't have any. And then uh, put the bolts in. And then just uh, not run them down with this uh, impact wrench, but um, not tight in a star pattern. And you want to tighten them um, to 20 foot pounds in a star pattern and not all at once it's better if you do it gradual like this And that's it. Now I need to prep this uh, caliper for the new um, brake disc. Um, the best thing to do is to replace your brake pads. So new brake pads with a new brake disc. But um, there's still plenty of pad left on my brake pads. So I'm not going to waste it. You know, you can agree with me or disagree with me, but I'm not wasting it. Um, but what I am going to do is take my pry bar insert it between the brake pad and uh, push these pistons in a little more to make sure I have plenty of room for the brake, new brake disc. Next thing, um, make sure you have all the spacers and stuff on your, um, on your wheel uh, so it can go back together. And let me grab one more thing I want to do before I put this on. Take some uh, brake cleaner and make sure your brake disc is clean. And 
and um, I don't have any rags um, so I'm using my um, these detailing rags but whatever got a whole bag of them now that's ready to go on I lowered the bike a little to um, help align the the wheel with the axle hole and hopefully I can get this in now That's that's on. And let's uh, push the axle back back out a little bit. Put the chain back on on this side. Push that back out. This back on, this back on. Oh, I can't get around this camera. Hold on. Put this back on. Now I just need to torque down the uh, bolt. Torque for the rear axle is uh, 72 foot-pounds. Um, it's 27 millimeter um, axle nut and then on the other side of the axle um, it's a 19 millimeter to hold it in place. I shouldn't have to adjust the brake because I didn't, I didn't um, change the adjustment. Just need to make sure my wheel is all the way forward against the, the brake adjusting um, bolt. So I just need to tighten this to 72 foot pounds. Right there. Now I can put the cutter pin back in. Now if you want to check the runout on the uh, new um, brake disc, um, the limit is 12 thousandths of an inch. Uh, I set this contraption up using the, the bolt on the axle, the axle bolt, and I've zeroed out this gauge and just turn your turn your wheel. And you can see it doesn't exceed the worst part is right there around 4.3 or 4 or what would that be um, about 4 thousandths of an inch so we're good and then just for the fun of it um, this is the old uh, brake, uh, brake disc if you want to check the uh, thickness of the worn area what was the limit? It was like it couldn't be less than 180 thousandths. And this one is about, let's see, it's almost, it's about 148 thousandths of an inch. So we're below um, 32 thousandths out of spec. It's pretty bad. So, um, uh, one other thing I want to do is, um, which I didn't talk about and I forgot to talk about, uh, is um, when I pushed in that caliper, or the brake pad to push the piston calipers in, the, um, 
brake fluid went back to the brake fluid reservoir for the rear wheel or the rear brake. So make sure you check that and make sure it's um, within spec. You got plenty of brake fluid and everything. And make sure you press down on the brake pedal before you take off riding. Make sure it's hard and a firm feel um, before you take off. So you should be okay. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching and um, yeah, just thanks for watching. See you next time.